sexual reproduction we are trying to study sexual reproduction before studying sexual reproduction we should know the difference between asexual and sexual reproduction in asexual reproduction you cannot differentiate the organisms by their sex all organisms of a particular species can reproduce if in a population a particular species number is 50 this we are taking it as an example for understanding each can produce two egg ones at a time the total number of egg ones produced will be 100 at any given time whereas in animals reproducing sexually the situation is totally different in a population of a particular species the number is 50 with 25 males and 25 females each one can produce two egg ones at a time the total number of egg ones produced will be 50 at a given time the sexes are separate male and female together make a pair and take part in reproduction thus reducing the individuals to 25 as we have told earlier each pair is able to produce two young ones though there are 50 the 50 becomes 25 pairs each pair producing two the number of young ones produced will be 50 only now if you take one asexually reproducing organism and one pair of sexually reproducing organisms if this asexually reproducing organism can produce two young ones the young ones produced will be two whereas in this case both of them put together they will be able to produce two so the population of the parent here is one in asexually reproducing organisms the population of sexually reproducing organisms is two i think the concept is clear for you the evolution of sexual reproduction is a major puzzle because a sexual reproduction should be able to outcompete it as every organism created can bear its own egg this implies that an asexual population has an intrinsic capacity to grow more rapidly with each generation and there will be a geometric increase of population this 50 percent cost is a fitness disadvantage of sexual reproduction the twofold cost of sex includes this cost and the fact that any organism can only pass only 50 percent of its own genes to its offspring in a sexually reproducing pair one definite advantage of sexual reproduction is that it prevents the accumulation of genetic variations and brings about the genetic variability which has proved advantageous in the ever dynamic ecological conditions sexual reproduction it is not true that only animals that have male and female sexes will be able to reproduce sexually there are certain animals which cannot be differentiated as male or female but still can reproduce sexually let us try to understand the concept of the sexual reproduction in those animals where there is no sexual dimorphism 